how to set the S Pen and actions for specific apps on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, on the home button, you go back to the home screen. And from the home screen, swipe down at the top to open up quick settings. Next, tap on the settings icon. Then in here, we scroll down and tap on advanced features. Next, tap on S Pen. Then tap on Air Actions. At the top, make sure you turn on Air Actions. And then scroll down in the App Actions. In here, it says App Action can be only used in specific apps. So for example, if you open up camera, you can decide whether you want to use the S Pen features, Air Actions with camera or not. You can turn it off or you can switch it on. If you switch it on, you can perform a single press on the S Pen to take picture or record video. You can double press to switch the cameras or you can use, uh, you can use gestures as well. So here we can uh, open up the camera and we can test it out. So if I uh, press on the S Pen button, that should allow me to take a picture. So when I press on it, uh, nothing happened yet. So we want to go back and double check. So it's turned on, but the S Pen is not connected. So if we swipe down at the top here, we say the S Pen is disconnected. So we need to connect it then. So if you find sometime when you press on the button and nothing happens, then you might want to make sure the S Pen uh, is connected first. So you can see here it's um, now connected. We can then pull it out and then open up the camera app and then we can try it here. It shows the S Pen features. So we can press on the button. Now to take a picture, we can double click on the button and that will allow us to switch the camera. We can also press on the button to switch the camera or move down, move sideways. So uh, that is the feature of the S Pen uh, that is uh, compatible with the uh, camera. And then you've got different features depending on which app that you use. You have the different features. So for gallery, uh, if I press on the button once, it goes to the next item. And if I press on the button twice, it goes back to the previous item. And using gesture, so I can uh, move up, move down, move back, move forward or move left or move right. Or I can do that uh, circle. Um, action so I can do that circle gesture uh, and at the moment it's assigned to do nothing but you can choose uh, for it to go to the next item previous item show high related content so each of these uh, gestures you can tap on it and then you can choose what to do with it and that is for gallery so you can even like switch it off if you don't like to use the S Pen uh, air actions with gallery you can even uh, switch it off and that's just one of the apps so you've got Samsung Internet, uh, for Samsung Internet, it's got a lot of different actions here. Back, forward, scroll down, scroll up, refresh page, previous page, next tab, do nothing. So there you can assign all the different uh, actions to the different gestures and buttons. Then you've got uh, voice recorder, Samsung Notes, Clock, and Chrome, Microsoft Office uh, even. So you can go to the next slide, previous slide. Uh, assuming this is for PowerPoint. And that's it. So that is how you can uh, set air actions uh, for specific apps, specific apps on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.